Welcome to the 25 most notable bourbons of 2022. We're doing things a little bit different this year because we always like to switch things up a little bit, always improve upon it. So this year we are doing things blind. Ooh. Now we always do things blind, but, but what we're doing is we won't know what we're reviewing until the very end. You'll know. You'll know, because you clicked on the thumbnail, you already know. You already know. And you'll know it in the in the intro, but we won't know what we're talking about and reviewing until the very end. Uh, another thing that's different about this year is that you'll notice that I said 25 most notable bourbons instead of 25 most notable bourbons and whiskeys. Yeah. That is because we have enough rise this year that we kind of pulled them out, and so we will do those separately off camera and talk about those for our best of. Okay, let's get into it. I'm gonna stop this little rotating thing. That's also new. she may. And little arrow. So now, here's our sample. Let's go talk about it. Okay, so here we go. I have no idea what's in here. We no just idea. know that it is a predetermined uh, selection of bourbons. Right. It could be anyone. We know we liked it enough to put it in. Yeah, it's worthy enough to uh, have gotten in here. I'm jealous because you guys know what it is. I know. Ooh, I love it. They we... could be jealous of us for drinking it, though. It's I guess. true. I think we picked a good one mm -hmm. here for the early goings. I mean, I should say so. <laughs> we chose what goes in. Ooh. It's got it's peanut buttery. Oh, really? And silky. Hmm. Yes. I'm getting a lot of like fruit and floral. What? We poured the same thing, right? Yeah. I mean, there's a little bit of like caramel in there. Mm. But I'm getting like a. I get a little bit of perception of age. Like a spiced pear and a little bit of floral and. Yeah, mm. and some oak. I definitely get some oak on yeah, there. Yeah, okay. <laughs> well, it's a great nose. I love the nose. Um, okay, to your health. Mm. Mm -hmm. A nice mouthfeel. I would say it's pleasant. I like it. Oh, it's not blowing me away. Hmm. I mean, I like it. I'm not saying I don't like it. What are you saying? Are you saying you I'm like it? I'm not sure yet because you're rushing me. <laughs> it's delicate. It is. Um, I still get that fruity floral with the oak. Mm. It's kind of, it's got a nice balance, a touch of spice, but not not much. And I like the way that that's playing. It's but it's pleasant. It's all very pleasant and balanced. It feels like it's around a hundred proof. I would say something like that. You know, it's not again. It's got a medium finish. It's mm -hmm. it settles a bit. You know, after it the is, second or third yeah. sip into the chest. Starting to travel. Again, it's so delicate mm. on the palate that I would think it couldn't be higher than. I'd be surprised if it was 107. Right. Well, we want to pause just for a second and tell you about our home on the internet. It's whiskeyambitions.com. We want to remind you about this because it's where we have a lot of new t-shirts and hoodies. You're wearing a, a, cl one. a classic there, but what it's a, a long sleeve, uh, hats and, and candles and everything. But especially right now in December, up until December 15th, you can get 10% off anything that's not already a sale item by using coupon code IBNHOLIDAY10. That's whiskeyambitions.com. That's right. Get those holiday orders in before the shipping time runs out. Yes. <laughs> be careful. Uh, you can also become a patron at patreon.com slash it's bourbonite and join our community for as little as one buck a month and there we will have several great barrel picks coming mm -hmm. out this month so that's exciting yes it's really easy to drink very easy yes I guess for me I really like it mm. and maybe this is because I'm just so used to you know the proof hound zone it's not that I want it to be higher proof I actually think it's working really nicely but I do think because it is in my mind I think it's lower proof it's missing that extra good mouthfeel. Like the mouth feels nice and pleasant, but it's not, you know, coating my mouth. Like if it had mm -hmm. that richness to it, I sure. feel like this would be a 10 out of 10. For the mouthfeel. For the mouthfeel, yeah, right. Yeah. Well, overall it would be, you know, a very highly scored experience if right. we were doing that, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah. Hold up your gymnastics <laughs> <laughs> scorecards or whatever. I get that too. Yeah, if anything, I wish it was a little higher proof, but then the oakiness might, might get be out of balance. overpowered. Yeah, yeah, so I do think it is very balanced. It is very drinkable. As you said, um, I just miss that coating, you know? Sure. That would make it near perfect near if it had perfect. that. Okay. Well, are you ready to see what it is? Let's find out. Okay. We have been drinking. I think I have a guess. What's your guess? I think it might be the old fits. The 19? Fall, the 19 year. Yeah, I was kind of thinking that too. The proof would match. The proof matches I the oak from the age. A little, maybe, but we said for 19 that there wasn't as much oak as like. The but Knob this Creek doesn't have as much right. oak as I would. No, no, that's what I was saying. Yes. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's, let's find see. out. Let's see. 
<laughs> it is. It's the old Fitz 19 year. You guys just have to trust wow. that we don't spoil this for right. ourselves. Like, what would be the point in doing it for yeah, us that's so fun. if we would cheat? I wouldn't want to cheat. So fun. It's a fun test. Okay, Sarah, if you remember last year, at the end, we always asked one another, mm -hmm. what makes this best of the year uh, worthy? I mean, it's kind of like I just said, minus that, just that wish that it had a little bit more proof so that it would have that mouthfeel without getting the oak out of balance. Right. If it had that extra coating, luscious mouthfeel, for me, this would be near perfect. Maybe if it was that 107 proof. Of course, I can't do that because all there's a bottle of bond. Um, but I think just, you know, the, yeah. the, you know, the fruity, floral, oaky, you know, age, everything's in balance on it. And it's just really drinkable and easy. It's just a mm -hmm. very pleasant experience. That's what puts it in for me. So Sarah, this was distilled in fall of 2003. What were you doing? Well, don't tell me. It'll just make me sad. Uh, I was and... <laughs> in eighth grade. <laughs> and uh, the retail price on this, good luck, but retail price is $240. Which is steep, but it is 19 years old. I don't think it's going to be a disappointment. No. <laughs> it's a it's a tasty treat. Will it win? Will it win best of the year? We'll find out. I don't know. Off, off to a good start though. Yeah. Mm. All right. Well, hey, that's where we got to leave it. You haven't subscribed to us already. You know what? You can do so by clicking right up here. There's suggestions of other videos down here. I'm going to see you over there in one of those. Thanks, Sarah. Thanks, Chad. <laughs> see you tomorrow. Until then, drink more bourbon.